Recently, Jeep has really been stepping up their game to give the impression of the American Range Rover. But the question today is, is it as efficient as it is luxurious? <music> This is Christopher Brower here with Daily Motor, and today we've got the real-world highway fuel economy test on the 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee L V6. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. I'm really, really liking the more muscular design that they're giving these newer Jeeps, especially the Grand Cherokee. This one is the Summit Reserve long wheelbase. So this is the top of the line trim model. We do have the, just the basic engine in this though, just the 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6. Makes about 290 horsepower and that is sent through an eight speed automatic transmission. This one's also riding on air suspension. It's got third row seats. It's pretty much completely specced out. It's crazy to think that this massive thing is the newest Grand Cherokee, but like I said earlier, I'm really getting the American Land Rover Range Rover vibes from this, but uh, let's hope that they don't copy Land Rover Range Rover uh, as far as efficiency and longevity goes with, uh, with their cars. So let's go ahead and get started. So then, why do we do this test? Well, the EPA's fuel economy test which gives this Jeep Grand Cherokee 25 MPG on the highway, only averages 48 miles per hour. And we know that some people actually like to take their cars on road trips, which involves a lot of highway driving. So what we do in this test is we go out 50 miles and back 50 miles with the cruise control set at 72 miles per hour in hopes to average 70 miles per hour over the entire trip. A couple things worth noting for today, outside temperature is 57 degrees, actually a warm day here in Michigan for once. It's also quite sunny. Um, inside temperature, we're gonna run the climate control on 73 degrees auto. The tires have been pumped up and set to their factory door placard indicated 36 PSI. And we're gonna be filling up at the same pump both times using the same three click fueling method. All right, let's go ahead, hop out and do our first fill. All right, and almost 11 gallons in there for our first fill, $48 even. I have been driving this thing around all week, so use quite a bit of fuel. All right, and before we get started, let's go ahead and restart our trip odometer here. There it is. We are nice and reset there. We're also gonna go ahead and press auto to get our temperature in here up to 73 degrees auto to keep things nice and even. And let's go ahead and get started. So there are a couple of drive modes on this Jeep Grand Cherokee. We've got rock, sand, mud, snow, auto, and sport. We're gonna leave it in auto today, but we are going to drive in the aerodynamic ride uh, setting. So that'll at least give us a little bit more uh, economical advantage there. Aero mode is actually what the car defaults at. You can raise it up into normal, which is a little bit higher, um, or off-road one or off-road two if you wanna look like you're driving around on stilts. But I actually prefer the look of this thing in aero mode too. Um, and you can actually make it go even lower, uh, but only under a certain miles per hour uh, for entry exit. All right, guys, the highway is about half a mile away. I will catch up with you once I am merging on. All right, merging on the highway right now. Now the purpose of this test is not to hypermile. I'm not gonna be doing any drafting or any super crazy things that someone that drives a Honda Insight would do. I'm just gonna get on the highway, set the cruise control for a GPS indicated 72 miles per hour and just drive. Our route today is about 102 miles. So once we get back, we will do some math and see what this Grand Cherokee L was able to manage. All right, and there is indicated 72. Let's see, it looks like it is true to GPS. All right, so we do have adaptive cruise on this Grand Cherokee. We can adjust our distance here with these two buttons. Got it set to the closest distance and it still hangs back quite a bit here. But it's not so far back that you feel like you're impeding traffic. 
Under first highway impressions, this Jeep is really, really comfortable. The air suspension helps a lot. We were driving just a normal Jeep Grand Cherokee a couple of weeks ago, and this thing rides quite a bit better, and you have a lot more versatility as well with that air suspension. We do also have steering assist, we've got lane keep assist, and of course, as I mentioned, radar guided cruise control. So plenty of driver aids uh, on board with this Grand Cherokee L. Um, otherwise, seat comfort, it's pretty good. If you were to be on a non-fuel uh, economy test run, you do have heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, and uh, you have a heads-up display as well. All right, guys, getting settled in here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some driving, and I'll catch up with you in about 95 miles. everyone well we're coming up on the 100 mile mark 95 miles indicated there on our trip computer and the car is saying that we've done 23.2 miles per gallon so a little bit under what the EPA has this thing rated at but of course we'll have to wait till we get to the gas station and do some math to see what we actually got because we don't know if that is 100% accurate otherwise though just driving this thing on the highway it's pretty nice the air suspension like I stated earlier it's super soft cushy forgiving the uh, radar cruise is actually very good as well. It maintains a nice, safe, non-impeding distance. When you're going around cars, it passes at an okay speed. Um, it doesn't accelerate as fast as I would necessarily like it to. Like Mr. V6 Mustang right there on the left. But it gets the job done and it actually does a pretty good job. Now, as far as the steering assist goes, I actually haven't been using it because it's been hugging the right side very hard and then confusing itself because obviously if it's hugging the right side, the lane keep assist gets mad and it vibrates the steering wheel and then tries to push you over and the system just feels like it isn't calibrated quite right. Um, so I've just been using the normal lane keep assist and uh, doing most of my own steering. So that's been fine. Obviously nothing up to par with a Hyundai or a Kia or a Genesis, but uh, it's all right. You know, at least you have something. You have the radar cruise, you have the lane keep assist. So, um, it's mostly painless. Plus, uh, you know, uh, factoring in the comfort of the seats, the comfort of the ride, and just the beauty of everything in here, it's not too bad. So then, with all that out of the way, I'm gonna finish up the last five-ish miles of my drive here, and I will catch up with you guys once I'm at the pump. All right, guys, and almost four gallons even in for our final fill, 4.055. Okay, that's, that's latched. All right, let's go ahead and see how we did. So we know our trip is exactly 102.2 miles and we just got 4.055 gallons of gas. That gives us a total of 25.2 MPG. So this Grand Cherokee L, by our numbers, by our measurements, has met EPA. When I finished out the trip, the trip odometer, the, the computer in the car, read 23.5. So 25.2 indicated by our math, 23.5 indicated by the car. Do with that information what you will. So 25.2 miles per gallon, and we have a 23 gallon tank in this Jeep Grand Cherokee, which gives you an effective highway cruising range of 570 miles. That is quite a long way. Usually anything over 500 miles, I'm pretty impressed by. So there you go. There you have it. This Jeep Grand Cherokee L Summit Reserve with the air suspension, everything on it um, has met EPA. In fact, it's beaten it by 0.2 of a mile per gallon. So 
there you go guys jeep grand cherokee l with the v6 um, though even after all of this i would still recommend getting the v8 um, i'll have my full review to this car linked down in the description and you'll see why um, the v8 would just be best for this platform but anyways with all that out of the way thank you all so much for watching this has been christopher brower here with daily motor and as always drive on mm -hmm.